tell you where the fish are. Get in there. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, yeah man. Bam. 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 Hey everybody, Chris Schaefer with Posky Outdoors coming to you back again from Alberta. Today we're at a very special place. We're at Birch Lake, uh, roughly about two hours from Calgary, two hours from Edmonton, and uh, less than an hour from Red Deer. And one of the things, the reason why we're here, it's very simple. It's the only lake in the entire province where you have a chance of catching stocked brown trout, stocked rainbow trout, and stocked brook trout. Now, the lake has predominantly rainbows, and you can expect to catch mostly rainbows, however, a lot of people like to come out here and chase those browns and brookies. We're gonna try, we don't know if we're gonna be successful. We're gonna give it a try, but we know that the rainbows in here are very hungry, very aggressive. You have a nice, calm lake. Makes for a lot of fun fishing in an area that's very easy to reach. Let's see how we do. Third cast in a new area. Gave it a couple of twitches and- Right in the shallow just stuff, ripped eh? me right down in the shallow. We're probably not even 15 feet from shore. What do we got here? We got oh, there. nice, nice little brookie. Boat. Oh, it's a little rainbow. Right on. First fish of the morning, and we're five minutes into the lake here. Yeah, okay. A little one. It's okay, I got it. You got it, bud? Oh, yeah. So that'd be this year's stalker for sure. Inhaled it. These guys went in at about 22 centimeters, so that's definitely this year's fish. Really, eh? Yeah. Nice little guy. Well, here we have our first little rainbow of the morning. Gorgeous colors on this little guy, but we'll get him back in the drink real quickly here. Didn't take long to get this one. There she goes. On to the next one. And we're hooked up again. Right on. Wonder what we got here today. Look at this little rainbow. On the yellow jacket slip floating five feet down. And it inhaled it. Smacked my float, and there he is, boys. How's it feel? Feels amazing. That didn't take too long after all. Just got it out, fish struck my float right away, and the next thing you know, it went right for the yellow jacket egg. It's not a big fish, but she's scrapping. Another stalker. <laughs> and honestly, every fish in here has just been taking it right down the gullet. So you put them up. Alberta back lake rainbows. I heard it. God. All right, guys. So uh, when you're baiting your hooks, you won't, you don't want to rush the process. The way I like to bait my hook is to gently bait one egg at a time onto the hook. You don't really want to rush it because once you poke the egg, you want to run in through it really slow. And if you take your time, like so, baiting them gently, softly, pushing them right up to the eye of the hook, you're gonna get more life out of these eggs because you're not making an opening that is huge in the eggs, which will completely milk and just make your egg just disintegrate fast in the water. So as you can see here, I'm really, really taking my time baiting these eggs, making sure they go on smoothly, making sure I'm not making a big hole when I'm piercing the hooks on, when I'm pier piercing the eggs on the hook there. Same thing, put them in very gently. These are size 12 hooks, so you can put on three to four eggs generously. When the bite is tough, Minimize the amount of eggs you put on. One to two works really well on finesse bites. If the fish aren't too finicky, you can load them right up with three, four, sometimes even five, six eggs, depending on the size of the hook you're using. Shouldn't take too long right now. There it is. And he's under. And we're on, guys. Nice. That was quick. Saw the fish rise through my line, literally right where it was, and Less than three seconds later, it just rifled the float right down into the depths. 
feels like a slightly better fish here. Got a little bit of weight to it. Any fish feels like a lot of fun on the ultralight. This guy's a little scrappy. Yeah, decent fish, decent fish. Got some fight in it. Got nice colors on this fish here too. Heavily spotted Alberta back lake rainbow trout here. Yellow jacket eggs, simple bobber patterns. See the screen? Look at the screen. Beautiful. Uh, so a lot of lakes uh, um, in Alberta have potential for winter kill and uh, the ACA has a program where uh, they aerate some of those lakes for us so it allows us to get uh, fish that are going to overwinter and get a larger size fish so you're going to get fish that are going to be in here for you know up to you know five or six years and get some real good size on them so this lake is known for having some bigger brookies in it and uh, we're looking for one of those nice fish today. Um, you know, I think people come from, you know, as far as Calgary or Edmonton uh, to fish this lake just because of the unique opportunity. You got the, uh, you know, the three different species in here. Um, so you got fish of, you know, different sizes, so, um, and you can keep fish from this lake as well. Um, so you have people who come here, you know, might want to keep a fish or two, but you also have guys who might be more into catch and release and that type of thing uh, coming in and utilizing this resource as well. So we're, uh, we're east of the Rocky Mountains. Um, and we're real close to the town of Caroline, uh, just, just west actually, uh, near Burnstick Lake, uh, right on the Burnstick Lake Road here. Um, and so you're, you're about two and a half hours from Calgary and two and a half hours from Edmonton, so it's a reasonable day trip from either of those cities. And uh, you know, the city of Red Deer is even closer. Uh, so this lake is pretty accessible for, for a, lot of the, a lot of the population in the province. Come on. Strike me. There he is. He's on, guys. He's on. Came up for the bobber, went down for the yellow jacket, just like that. Lots of fun here. Giving us some aerials. You're gonna see these guys catch a lot of trout out here today. And normally, everybody is using our red eggs. They're using either the premium, the green label, the silver, or the gold eggs. And these red eggs usually are the most popular eggs you'll find anywhere in Alberta. However, today, for some reason, the yellow jackets and the orange deluxe were the hot egg. Why are they the hot egg today? Honestly, guys, we really don't know. It could have been there was cloud cover this morning. It could have been they've seen a lot of red eggs, and it could have been, you know what, the yellow and the orange are natural colored eggs. A lot of these fish have been in here over a year, you know, so a lot of times they start to go after natural colored food, and that may be the case. But this is a lesson for everybody to learn. When you're going out and you're doing trout fishing, whether you're talking about spoons, whether you're talking about spinners, stick baits, or salmon eggs, it doesn't matter. Go out there, have a variety of different baits with you so you can combat all conditions and go out there and find the color that the trout are biting. So we're still water fishing back lakes for trout today and uh, I'm gonna show you my rig I got going today. It's very straightforward. I have a Cool Waters fishing float, slip float. It's very small, it's about three and a half grams. Now this float is perfect for the water we're fishing in because it's not too, too wavy. As you can tell, it's a, uh, a, it's a style of float that Phil makes for panfish, crappie and all that, but they work just as well for trout. Now this is a three and a half gram float. It's not too choppy today, which makes it quite reasonable for the size it is. Now, if you're fishing rougher waters, I would suggest using a much bigger float. The advantage of fishing a slip float over a fixed bobber is that it allows you to fish depths conveniently, especially very deep depths where if you're fishing 10 plus feet of water, you won't be able to cast a fixed rig that's 10 feet long on a rod that's per se six and a half feet and it's very ultralight. Now, I have a bead above my float which runs right up to the bobber stopper here. And as you can tell, when the line hits the water, this float's gonna slide right up and this will be its maximum stopping point. Now this rod here is about six and a half feet long. And right now I have this float fixed at about six and a half feet exactly, with three split shot on my line, connected to a triple rolling barrel swivel. 
You want your float balanced perfectly on the water. You don't want it sitting too high because you'll miss those sub throw strikes, especially when the bite's tough and you're finessing these fish. Below my barrel swivel, I have roughly 20 inches of four pound fluorocarbon line tied to a size 12 hook baited with four salmon eggs. Very straightforward, simple presentation, and it's really effective. There he is. This one feels a little better. On the yellow jacket eggs. Going nuts, giving us a little aerials here. And there it goes. <laughs> Drop the egg. He's swinging right in. You're getting better, guys. There we go. Yeah, that's a lot. It looks like last year's fish. A little bit bigger than most of the ones we've been. Uh, we've been Beautiful here. spotting on this fish. He ha oh, nice fish. He hammered that. Right in shallow, close to the shore. That's a nice fish. Right on. Right on. He's running. He's running. Yeah. I got to try and keep him out of the weeds here. We're fishing real shallow right now. He's getting himself wrapped up, so I'm going to do my best not to get him tied up in there. But he's running. That guy's got some legs. Good stuff, buddy. Good hit. He just smoked it. Right on. Nice it's a nice bow. I think. <laughs> yeah, he does. He's getting down in them weeds. So there we go. Oh, there we go. He's going down again. Nice rainbow. Oh, darted. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> right on! Woo. Beautiful rainbow. Make it Beautiful. That. Look at the colors on them. That is awesome. Okay. Good stuff, Ryan. Right on. That's a beautiful rainbow. Birch Lake, Alberta. He's a lot of kick here. We'll try and get a get a shot. So spunky. Nice. Look how heavily spotted that fish. Look at that beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Unbelievable. Good he's stuff. Yelling good here. How many years this guy? Uh, I bet you he's th three or four. Yeah, I'd probably I'd venture to say four. Yeah, just gorgeous. Uh, they, they do. We get a little bit of coloration in the hatchery, but you know, once they get on the food in the lake, I think that's where they're really picking up the, the beautiful colors. So, real healthy looking fish.